Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from a microbiologist. Today we'll be talking about the identification of E. coli. E. coli is gram-negative bacilli that appears pink during performing gram stain test. It's non-capsulated and very motile, and these two behaviors differentiate it from Calypsella species which almost undergo the same reaction in many biochemical tests. E. coli belongs to Enterobacteriaceae family, the largest group in gram-negative bacilli, which contains more than 25 genera and 110 species. All genera of Escherichia are missile red positive and so many species gives indole positive. It can grow on a simple media containing glucose as a sole carbon source. Lactose fermentation is the main principle in identification E. coli in all differential media and it's a very good way in identification and classification E. coli from non-lactose enterobacteriaceae family. That's why it makes the lactose bros and McConkey bros very turbid during inoculation and appears as pink colonies on McConkey agar and also in Indo agar due to lactose fermentation into acid. That it changes the neutral lead indicator of the media into acid, which in return appears pink. On acylene mycelene blue agar media, E. coli gives a very cheerful color due to lactose fermentation. Colonies are black with green metallic sheen, especially when exposure to light. On Kledagar, E. coli appears as yellow colonies due to lactose fermentation that distinguish it from non-lactose fermenter blue colonies. E. coli is a part of normal flora in our intestine that provide our body to absorb vitamins and inhibit pathogenic bacteria such as Salmonella and Shigella. But it turns to opportunistic bacteria once the pH of intestine it changes due to bad hygiene and unhealthy food and may cause cystitis, gastritis, and urinary tract infections. The virulent factors of E. coli are enterotoxigenic E. coli which produce toxins, enteroinvasive E. coli, which help E. coli to invade the oleums, enteropathogenic E. coli, which cause diarrhea, enterohemorrhagic E. coli, which cause ulcer in our intestine. 